Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah Mac, Smack, um, and uh, all goes with uh, Sarah Mac art, I suppose. Uh, so today we're gonna be working on a 16 inch round. Well, for a moment there, I've forgotten what I was going to say, but it's been a long couple of weeks and I am going to do a strainer pour. Now I've seen a lot of artists recently start doing them and I thought I would uh, do one also. Uh, the strainer pour I did, gosh, I wanna say close to five years ago. Um, and it was, or four years ago, it's the second video on my YouTube channel. And uh, it was like three minutes, and 20 seconds long. I um, had my boyfriend holding the camera. Of course, he was holding it in the upward position, so we didn't have like a landscape orientation to the video. Anywho, the whole pour isn't even there. It's only like a portion of it. I don't know what happened. I didn't know what I was doing. But today, why not revisit it years later because I think I kind of know what I'm doing now. Um, this, so the colors I'm going to use are the same colors that I used in my last video. I've got Deco Art Extreme Sheen Gold. I have Metallic Cobalt Blue by Art Minds. Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex. I've got my white. That's Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylic White with some satin enamel in it. I also have Metallic Ice Blue by Folk Art. Aqua Flash by Color Shift. I have a Pastel Blue by Color Shift. This is new, so it sort of shifts from a pale pink to a blue. And then I have Prussian Blue by Arteza. And we're just gonna layer up a split cup. And this split cup is Mixed Media Girls split cup. So it's a double chamber. And I think I'm just gonna alternate colors on both sides and see what comes out. Now my strainer, which I just love these strainers and I'm sure uh, many people have seen them. Um, they're these cute little strainers and this one has a little piggy in it. I have one with a flamingo. Um, I think there was also an elephant, a whale. I had a blue one that was a whale. So I love pouring in these um, and I'll go around uh, the piggy. So I'm gonna undo this and get the little twist ties out of it. I actually use these at home in my own sink also, but I love to pour through them um, as well because they're just fun to look at. The goal is not to get piggy wet. <laughs> so, all right. So it's a really cool design. We've got holes on the bottom, as you can see, and then lines on the side probably won't hit too much of what's going on on the side, so most of it's gonna come out from the, the holes on the bottom. And we're just gonna center that right on my canvas. I think that looks pretty good. Um, but let's actually layer the cup first. I'm a little indecisive today. All right, so I am gonna do, um, there was a little piece of cat hair in there. No cats in the studio though. All right. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do, let's do some of this color shift blue. And I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of gold on one side. And then add bright aqua green and I'm going to come in and add the ice blue by Folk Art. Now here let's come in with a layer of the Prussian blue and I think I'm going to do that on each side. I think that's fairly good. I'll put a little more white on this side because some of it went down the edge. All right, come in with the 
aqua flash and let's do cobalt blue metallic by art lines i'm just sort of using up paints at this point i think and we're going to do a little bit of gold on top of that and then sorry i'm talking through this whole thing Pastel blue color shift and get rid of that. There you go. Stay over there. I think on this side we're gonna do ice blue. So that's what we're gonna do there. We're all done layering the cup. We have a little more paint left over. So I'm gonna get my little doohickey. We're gonna do a dollop in the middle here. I'm actually gonna lift it and bring it this way a little bit so it's more in the center. And uh, we'll put piggy facing you guys because we all know that's gonna make a difference. Um, so lots of artists have been doing these now that I'm done talking to myself and all that. Uh, so Nate Bright has been doing them. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, I know, uh, Mina Villegas has done one. Uh, so this is going to be mine and we are going to get pouring. There we go. Yes, I got piggy wet. <laughs> so, all right. We're just gonna let this keep, keep on coming. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of bright aqua green around the edge here as my flow extender. I'm not worried about the amount of paint I have on here. I'm just gonna move it around anyways, but a lot of those lines I think will open up. 
All right. And when I lift it, I'm gonna give it a little twist, sort of like a repeat. More like a swirl going on there. We're gonna start moving this around and I'm gonna go slowly counterclockwise to spread this out. You don't want to spin it. I didn't spin my last one way back when, so I figured why not? Because it is on a round canvas, work with what I got and go in the round circular motion. So it is gonna start going off in a second. I'm just gonna keep opening up. My composition. can't see it, sorry. Yay. All right, so we are gonna let this dry and we will come back and look at the dried results after a day or so. I do think, however, I am going to try and clean up that center just a smidge. I'm digging it. I'm a happy girl. All right, we're gonna bring you guys in for a quick look-see and then I'm gonna let you guys go. So like I said, we'll come in on another day to see the dried results, but I'm loving the colors here and I really can't wait to get this piece, pardon me, <laughs> the hiccups, out in the sunlight so you guys can see how pretty it is. No, I really have the hiccups. Um, so that is all for today. I thank you all for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Every day I see miserable people doing things they hate just to fit in. I know it's easier to get along peacefully. Have you ever thought about you? Don't know why I keep on doing